what is going on everybody today we just received our ak racing chair our gaming chair now i will put a link to this exact chair in the description i got mine on amazon there's a bunch of different ones you can actually find on amazon i'll put two links so that way you guys can kind of look at them yourself i know the one i currently have right here i think it's sold out right now and it could be due to covid19 but this is an unboxing video of us putting it together so we just had the base now this is the back part of the chair. It comes neatly wrapped. I wanted to go with the red scheme. Um, I, I just like the colors red and black and my headset is red and black. My mic is head, head, red and black. So it came with the cushions. It comes with the lumbar support. It comes with a head pillow. I'll show you how easy it is to actually put these on as we're building this. Um, we also have the part you sit down on, right? So what I do love about this chair after using it for about a week is it's super comfortable and it's easy to clean. Um, that's one thing I was looking for, something that didn't get really dirty really fast and it was actually easy to clean and super comfortable to sit in for long periods of time. Because when I game, like most of you, I game for a while. So it's pretty easy to put together. So we have the two main pieces. The first thing you guys wanna do is get the back piece of the chair and unscrew these bolts right here. Um, just you can hand un hand unscrew them. They do give you the tools that you need for this So you do not have to use any outside tools. They also gave me these really cool white gloves So I put them on um, Once you do that you want to do the other side too So both sides take four of those bolts out and put them to the side now What you want to do is you want to pick up that same back piece and then put it on the chair the chair has two pieces that pop up and that's what connects the back piece to the bottom piece where you sit down Super easy, should slide right in, kind of hold its place. You could probably walk away, not even have to hold it. And then you wanna grab those four bolts and then screw in those four bolts, two on the left, two on the right, and that will hold this chair in place. As you guys see right here, pretty simple. You just line the screws in, twist. This shouldn't take you, I think this took me about maybe 20 minutes. Um, I was taking my time, but you guys should probably knock this out, 15 to 20 minutes. It's not too hard to do. Um, like I said, all the tools necessary to do this come. So do one side first. Once you get it in there, do the other side. You guys can see my dog in the back was helping me out. Um, we still don't have a lot in this apartment. We do have a computer, a bed, um, nightstands. We, we or slowly, so I'll probably do a full um, apartment tour of my new place in Miami, Florida, which is actually really, really nice. If you guys look at the floors, you can tell like the apartment's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, once you get the screws in, just make sure you tighten them enough. And then they have little dust covers, I wanna say, or covers so you don't see this. These two covers right here, you should have two of them. You just slide them on. Once you slide them on, all you have to do is screw it in. And there's a screw that fits in right in the middle of this. And that's it. So it's right there. Pop this on and all you do is screw it on super easy I love I loved how easy it was to put this one together once you do this you want to lay the chair down on its backside to the bottom of the chairs and you want to unscrew all four of these bolts that I just pointed out. you want to unscrew all four of these out so unscrew them put the screws on the ground and then we're gonna connect the base to this right so we'll connect the base to this and then that's gonna give us our support right so this piece right here you're gonna connect the same four pieces that you just, same four screws you just took out is where we're gonna screw this in. Um, you can initially just put them in, hand hand tighten them, and then use your use your tools. Um, it, it, it's pretty simple. Um, I recommend don't tightening any of them all the way until you have all four screws in. But you can see I had um I had Achilles here helping me out. He was helping me out, but super simple. And then use the tool that they gave you to tighten it. So. That's all you have to do, just like this. Now that we have that on, what you wanna do is, so you're gonna have your compressor that's gonna allow the chair to go up and down, right? Up and down, and there's like a dust cover for it. So you're gonna put both of those on, just, just hammer, not hammer it in, just like tighten it in with your hand, and then just leave it there. Then you wanna get the very bottom of the chair, so your the base where you're gonna actually um, put the wheels on, and you're gonna get five wheels. What I really liked about this one right here, this was like a metal, really heavy duty, so it didn't feel really flimsy. Like, I had a DX Racer chair and it was like plastic. And then I had another one that was plastic too. This one was, is a metal 
and that's what I liked about it. It felt really solid, like it wasn't gonna go anywhere. Once I put the um, once I put the wheels in, I flip it over, and then all you have to do is connect. You all you have to do right here is connect the um, the chair to the to the bottom. One thing you did see, if you guys looked really close, I had a washer that I had lost in the middle of um, tightening the screws and I couldn't find the washer. And I just put the screw on because like, I didn't know where the washer went and then I found that it was down there. All I did is I went back and then tightened one of the screws with the washer. So there's two ways you can actually put this um, pillow on. If you feel like the pillow is a little bit low on your head, you can put it how I have it now. Or if you feel that you the pillow is a little bit too high that way, we'll pop it off and then it comes with a clip that you put in the back and then you can use these two holes right here to connect to connect your um, pillow. Now, if you do want to use the lumbar support, some people hate the lumbar support, some people like it. All you do is you slide it through the two holes that are right next to the head pillow and then you slide it through the bottom of the chair and then it has like two clips in the back and you clip it. And that's just personal preference. What I do love about this chair is look how far it leans back. I don't think anybody realistically will lay back and game like this, but to have the option to do that is really neat. So this is with the lumbar support. Um, sometimes I have it on, sometimes I don't, but like I said, in the back, you can clip it, it goes to the bottom, that simple. So far after using this chair for about a week, I wanna say that I'm very impressed with it. I love it, it's really comfortable. What I really liked about this chair was it does have adjustable armrest. It has the extra wide frame. The, the seat's actually comfortable after long um, gaming sessions. And that really is honestly what matters, right? How comfortable a chair is. And I actually enjoy this one. Um, you guys can get this on Amazon. I'll put a link to the extra wide one and then the regular one. And that way you guys can take a look at it. I know they run from around 300 up, but you can get free prime shipping on it. So if you do have prime, that's another benefit of getting this chair that if you don't like it, you can probably return it. So I'll continue to um, use this chair and I'll keep you guys posted. Maybe I'll do a uh, one month or six month on how I'm enjoying this chair. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you guys happen to have this chair, let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Nothing but skills is out.